Tonight, Donald Trump is ramping up a showdown over the alleged role Russia may have played in the race for president, with every major U.S. intelligence agency concluding that Russia did, in fact, interfere with the election. I think it's ridiculous. I think it's just another excuse. Uh, I don't believe it. On Sunday, Trump flatly told Fox News that he does not believe the reports that the CIA believes Russia actively attempted to intervene. This morning, he doubled down in a series of tweets, writing, quote, can you imagine if the election results were the opposite and we tried to play the Russia CIA card? It would be called conspiracy theory. Trump also claiming that the accusations of Russian interference never came up during the election, which it did, and that hackers weren't caught in the act, which they were. This comes as a chorus of bipartisan senators are calling for a deeper probe. As it's clear the Russians uh, interfered. And Trump is incorrectly suggesting it is Democrats, not the intelligence community, placing the blame on Russia. I'm not sure they put it out. I think the Democrats are putting it out because they suffered one of the greatest defeats in the history of politics in this country. And frankly, I think they're putting it out and it's ridiculous. Which entirely misses the problem of a foreign entity attempting to undermine the integrity of the U.S. election makes any potential investigation challenging if Trump remains opposed to the effort once he takes office. But the Senate's most powerful Republican is also pushing back, arguing that the intelligence is correct and an investigation is needed. I agree with Senator Schumer, Chairman McCain, Burr and others. This simply cannot be a partisan issue. The Russians are not our friends. And now the Clinton campaign is backing a demand from Electoral College electors we're asking for a full intelligence briefing on the matter ahead of their official vote on December 19th. This flap adds to growing concern amongst leaders of the president-elect's own party about his view of Russia. I am an American company. And his likely pick for Secretary of State, ExxonMobil CEO Rex Tillerson, and his close ties to Putin and Russia. Follow the funds. Florida Senator Marco Rubio, who sits on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, tweeting, being a friend of Vladimir is not an attribute I'm hoping for from a secretary of state. These battles are being waged as Trump continues to shape his upcoming administration. Making trips to Trump Tower today. Really cool stuff in his office. Former presidential candidate Carly Fiorina, former Congressman Alan West, and former Texas Governor Rick Perry, once a sharp critic of Trump, now considered as the next energy secretary, a department that as a presidential candidate, he suggested be shut down.